All right. Like I said, we already talked about the landing uh, talked about the landing pattern. What we're going to do for that, we already talked about PEL. So the only thing that's left now is the PELP. So what is the difference between a PEL and PELP? It's um, it's a slightly different pattern um, based around the fact that you're already in the regular landing pattern. Okay. So in other words, you you know, whereas you had a PEL, right, you're out on course rules, whatever, you had an emergency, and oh my gosh, we gotta fix it, right? Well here you're already in the landing pattern, right? And you're gonna take care of it. Okay, well look, this is a profile view of a PELP, right? Sure. So the procedures are we're gonna turn, climb, and what airspeed we're gonna climb at? 120, 125. 125, right? But in real life, I would consider climbing at 140. If it really happened, the only reason we're climbing at 125 here. It's because we've got other aircraft in the pattern, right? If I start flying 140, I'm going to eat up those other aircraft uh, for the practice PEL. But for a legitimate PEL, I'd probably climb at 140. I want to get up there as fast as possible so I can get down as fast as possible. So I'm going to turn, climb, clean. What's that mean, clean? Uh, with the gear and flaps up. Yeah, and because my gear's already down, this time I've got to really do it. So now I'm going to turn, climb, Hang on that prop, clean, get those gear and flaps up. Check. Again, what am I checking for? Uh, check to make sure that your gear is actually up. Um, and you're going to check for secondaries on your instruments. Okay, cool. Now, we got this ECAS display that's over here, right? We got a number of little, you know, uh, instruments, right? If I had to choose one instrument that told me if my engine was working, what one would you use? Which one would you choose? Um, I'd go with... I'd go ITT. ITT, yeah, that's the fire, but does that really tell me if the engine's spinning? Oh, um, then NP. NP, that tells me if the prop's spinning. P for prop. Uh, N1. N1, right? N1 is RPM, kind of like RPM on your car, right? If the RPM is zero, is the engine running? No, sir. No, right? If the RPM is at 2,500, is it running? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So N1 in our case is a percent, right? So yes, we have kind of a percent, right? We have a white arc here. We got a green arc here, right? And it goes up to from zero to 100, right? So when we start the airplane, how do I know what is the basically engine running RPM? starting. We're starting at 60-61. Um, 60 percent, right? So it's green after 60 and it's white below 60, right? So I turn, climb, clean. Hey, I just want to make sure my engine's working. Obviously if I'm climbing it is, right? But let's just say I have a loss of power out in the area. I don't know why I lost power. I'm a zoom glide 125. The engine failure procedure says zoom glide 125 PCL off. Well, wait a minute. Did I, do I, am I sure I lost my engine? I only lost power. So how do I know if I lost my engine? In one. If it's in the green, life's good. It's now something else. I have to check my ECAS down here. I have to check my ITT and all that other fun stuff. Make sure, hey, no kidding, the fire's going, right? But if it's above 60%, 67 for flight, well, dude, if it's above 60, I think it's still running as long as it's not winding down. I know I got a good engine. Now it might be a PME fail, PME status, could be uh, whatever, but I'm going to treat that differently, right? Sure. Okay. So, turn, climb, clean, check means N1 primarily. That looks good. Look for secondaries, continue. So, all right, I turn, climb, clean, get the gear and flaps up, check my engine instruments, and, uh, you know, it might be a chip light, right? Determine, a BIP, right? Sure. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know, a low fuel pressure light. Would I use BIP? Yes, sir. Yeah, right. Boost pump ignition switch, right? Because you know I want to make sure I get that positive fuel pressure. Plan, plans, Dagan. Sure. So what's my low key here at Burton? 1600. 1600 feet, right? So plan is what altitude do I want to climb to to make sure I glide into low key. And so. Hey, you know, we're halfway down the runway. How, how much altitude do I really need to kind of glide in here? You want somewhere between 19 and 1900 and 2000 feet. Okay. I know you say that's 19. I would actually say that's a little bit high, but here's why, okay? 
Mature incline clean check the determine deliver. Hey RDO, I got a chip light XGP on the pattern. I'll call you pattern with the gear. Reduce right as I climb up to that whatever altitude I need to go to to glide into Dega. Remember, I'm going to have to reduce, pull that power, and drop my nose because I should be climbing at 125. What should come down right after that is the gear and flat a gear. But I would actually say about 1,800 feet. Because I might be 1,800 here, but remember, I'm kind of coming over the top and always moving forward to where I glide down. And that's going to take some real estate, right? Yes, sir. So if I really climb to 2,000 feet, now my glide pass up here, and now I've really made it a harder time to get down. You know what I'm saying? So about two to, two to, two to maybe no more than 400 feet. Two, I mean, and really, 400 is on the high side, unless, of course, I'm significantly back here, then that would be correct. That'd be a proper data. Makes sense? Let's say I had to really extend up wind for interval or whatever. And then I get the chip light. Makes sense? So we'll just say, hey, today we're halfway down the runway. We'll start at 1,800 feet, because remember, my plane's climbing up. It's going to take some real estate before it starts going back down. And that's this area in here. And so we we'll climb by 1,800 Approximately, right? I mean, it's not rocket science, but government work. Government work. There you go. All right, cool. Turn, climb, clean, check, bit, determine, deliver, reduce. As soon as I get over the top, that reduce should come right with lower. Next is report. RDO, one, two, three, low key, gear down. Roger. Good luck. All right? See you on the ground. All right. So, Let's say I had a fire flight. I had a fire. Yeah, this little all you cat this thing is just blinking off at me. Fire, 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 right? So how much torque am I gonna use to make the climb for a fire light? Mm, I'd I'd give it all I could. Yeah, max blast, engine's right? It's done anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on the prop and get up there, right? So I even determined, hey, you know what? The ITT is rising through the roof. Oil temperatures are rising through the roof. I see smoke coming out of the airplane. And I'm starting my climb up. What are you going to do then? Um, depending on your airspeed, you can either... Climb at 125? Climb at 125, keep the PCL where it's at. Okay, cool. Why wouldn't you just want to shut it down? Right then you, and there. You need to make data unless you want to... Okay. Take a ride out of the airplane. Where's the fire in this airplane? Right ahead of you. It's in front of you, right? Sure. So where's the fuel in this airplane? To each side. It's in the wings, right? So if the fire's here and the fuel is here, what does that fire have to get to to get to the, get through to get to the get to the fuel? It has to get through me. Got to get through you, right? Sure. So if you're not burning up, you probably got some time, right? And we already are in the landing pattern, so I've got some time to get the data, right? Now, okay, here I am. Hey, determine, deliver, reduce. What can I do then? You can go PCL off. PCL off, firewall shut off, handle pull, get that gear down. Now I'm eliminating that fire, right? Sure, I'm going to climb for a few seconds, but it's going to take longer than a few seconds for that fire to burn through all this fun stuff to get to that fuel, right? Because, okay, I get a fire light on departure, punch out, boom. You know what I mean? It might even be confirmed. Maybe a fuel light line broke loose, oil, whatever. Might not have, you know. Could, but we could have still saved the bird, still saved the plane. By the way, I got another question for you. Okay, what's out here off the departure end of the runway? What's all this stuff out here? Uh, you got trees and buildings and roads. Oh yeah, I got all kinds of stuff, right? What's at this airfield? open space. A lot of open space, right? Who else is at this airfield if I'm doing touch and goes or something? Uh, RDO and a crash crew. Oh, okay. So if I shut down my engine, I come down, I land on the runway, man, I'm still on fire. Who's there to help me? Crash crew. Man, crash fire rescues me on top of your bird, spraying it down just like that, right? To turn their money. Right. And if I had to, now, can I punch you out on the ground? You can. It's zero, zero seat, right? Yes, sir. So, am I going to land in some trees where it might hurt? I'm going to land in this nice green grass, right? Sure. So, if I had a choice, hey, I'm going to let it run a little longer, get up to Dega, 
kill the engine, come down, drop the gear, all that fun stuff, come back in, even if I'm still on fire, they're going to spray down the aircraft, and if I had to, I could punch out, or I can get emergency ground egress. Any, any questions on that? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. All right, so PEL, right? Hey, well, even if it's a confirmed fire, I'm going to still keep it running for a bit. If it, what if it wasn't a confirmed? It's just a fire light. You just, you're going to do the same um, pattern uh, PEL. Want to kill the engine? No, uh, just normal. Yeah, just kind of do normal, right? Yes, Chip one. Okay, cool. So, like you said, notice that the PEL procedure has the same exact memory aids, right? Turn, climb, clean, check, dip, determine, deliver, reduce, lower report. As a PELP, the only difference is just your location. So, but you also still need to walk fly that PELP, right? Because we might still need to execute, which we're definitely going to test you on in the aircraft. All right? So any questions about the PEL and the PELP? And how to study for them or practice for them? Cool. All right. With that, let's go fly.